Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here, and it is Wednesday, so that means block number 11 of Summer Soiree. There's mine up on the wall. So what will block 11 be? It is something sweet. So this is the block, ta-da! I am so excited. This is one where you can try playing around with different colors and see what happens. Here is the block itself and I have a couple of ways you can use it. I think it's really fun. Once you had that unit, you could turn them all around and create other different designs. So something sweet. At our summer soiree, we need to end the party. I think always end the party, unless it's a whole sweets party, but ends the party with something fun in the sweets department. Uh, and I think that, you know, some sort of a special, dessert buffet pies that would be my guess that would be my vote pies but i love trying a different dessert because if you have a dessert buffet then you you know can see what something is and just have a little taste of it ah so nice so fun so my block in order to to get the colors i went through a little bit of a process looking at what i already have up here but first before i show you that part in our whiskey and a teacup book the section I read for this week was the Perfect Book Club. And it, I think this is a really delightful little section because Reese talks about how reading uh, actually uh, developed her as an actress and a, a producer. So I think that was kind of a neat thing to learn about uh, how, how she developed her own um, personality and her own business and it all starts with a book so uh, how I don't know do you guys belong to book clubs do you you know tell me in the comments if you belong to a book club I'm really interested in that I used to read a lot of books and then I didn't and I still have I read business books and you know improvement books and things like that I don't really read novels very much I get them occasionally and then I don't read them I like to read people biographies so I'm interested in if, if you're in a book club and and what you do how you like it uh, years ago I did do some things with books associated and that's why I brought this back in because I thought I thought it was really fun to sort of have a book that followed along with what we were doing that was my thought anyway so let me tell you how we ca I came about with the fabrics for this and the sashing I'm going to use on it Plus, you guys stay to the end, I am announcing the next Wednesday Sew Along. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Finishing up the last two blocks means really looking at all the previous blocks for me and seeing uh, what flow is going on. I've already got them placed now, so I want to see, do I need to pop a little bit more of that black in here? Uh, what is what do I have enough of so I don't want any more of that plus I have the frames which are different colors so I already know what the frame will be for this particular block okay so let's take a look the process is probably one of the, my favorite things to do is to do this sort of analysis so first let's take a look at the frame because that's important that is uh, what will dictate in a way what the middle looks like because I'm going to go with the orange which means I do not need any orange in the inside of the block. Okay, so, so the frame is, is the you know peachy orange. Now I could do two different ones and I decided that I already have one with this and I really like it because it's a bit lighter. This has a heavier feel, so I've decided not to use that one. So this is the orange that I'll use, the peachy orange. Now it has a background and I have decided I will use one of the prints you know, there's all these light prints that came with this line, you know, tons of them. I decided again to stay with the orange. I think that it's really light. Here's the same print in red. And this one has a much heavier feel. You get, I'll get you in a little bit closer. You, it, it's more distinctive. You know, you, you see the pattern is stronger. And I think I want the lighter pattern, the one that's a little bit more blendy. Okay, the other thing is the black. I would like to have a little bit of touch of black in there, but look at how these blocks are. There's squares and there's strips, and I had decided that these would be the same fabrics for me. 
Now you could have these squares as different fabrics. You know, maybe this was red and this would be a different red. You could do that. But I'm going to make them the same fabric. These blacks are very strong and in all the other blacks they're either squares or half square triangles. They're not these sort of heavier lines. So I've decided not to use these blacks. So it's really a little bit of a process of elimination. All right. So th these are the frame in the background. Now I will take a look. I'm going here from like the bottom up. So I first started, I thought, okay, instead of having black, I would have this print, which has the black grid, but it also has the red and the green, uh, which is really cool. I also decided to eliminate the green. Here's the, the green because it is another strong color and there's a lot of green frames right next to this on above it and on the side. So no green in this block. There's enough green in that portion of the quilt. All right, so I went with a gray because I have used very little gray from this line. It has a few pieces, but I have not managed to make those work in. So I thought, well, let me just try it. And if I do it at the bottom, it's the smallest piece. So the gray, the black, the red, and the blue. Then I thought, well, just looking at it, I'm like, blah. The gray just is not doing anything for me. So let me take the gray out. And I thought, well, what if I put yellow? Remember, it's not going to be a long strip. Visually, it is not going to be this weighted. It is just going to be the one half square triangle and the one square, which would be a much smaller piece. And even this black will be the shorter strip in a square. The biggest piece will be this blue at the top. Uh, and the red will have some weight to it. So I thought, okay, well, what if I changed out this blue for a little bit lighter blue? because of it being such a big piece. This I like, this I like. And my other reds, uh, if I was going to do reds in there, which I am, I think, I could have gone with this red, which has got more white in it and le it's less weighty, which is kind of a nice feel. But then you have this red, which is pretty much a solid, it reads a solid. So that has a lot of weight to it. It looks like a line right through there. And if I'm using it in this position, it's a pretty big piece. So that's not it. So it'd be either this green one or it would have been this red one here. And I think I'm going to, like I did, stay with this one. Now that is how I went through it. That's how I got the block together to get to this point. And I want to show you what the peach looks like around it for the border because I think that really makes it. So let's go down here. So I have the short ends. Just pull it back. Short, the long. There we go. And here we go. So there you can see all of the, the peach color on there. And I think it's going to be just great in that, uh, in the quilt. All right, we're going to switch gears here now because I have got the next Block Wednesday announcement. And it is on my website today. The link is below. It's on my I Love to Make Quilts. Uh, so we will take the next Block Wednesday through the I think it's the middle of December. Uh, and then that way we'll close out and it'll start a new one in January. So what are we going to do for the next one? We're going to have a fall frolic. <laughs> yes, because I am ready for fall. I don't know if this might be the first time in my life I've ever said that, but I am ready for fall this year. So I want to celebrate nine fall things. So that is what we'll have nine blocks, nine 12 and a half inch by 12 and a half finished 12 inch blocks. And we're going to use this. Here's the layout. So the fall frolic, we're going to have, you can pick any kind of fabric that you want. Uh, and then we're going to do this layout. And the layout has a lot of light. So it's got, you know, these um, the sashing pieces, which are square in the square. And I am thrilled because I am going to work with these papers this time from the Fat Quarter Shop. I just love them. And so if you've never used them, these are a great thing to get. What I hope is that you will find some fabric that you already own that works for this. That's what I did. It's more fabric than I need and I always give you more than you're really going to need in the supply list. That way you have a variety and you can um, you know, make adjustments as you go along. Because remember it's nine blocks. So I had a bundle of Kim Deal's 
gratitude and grace. And that is what I'm going to show you down here. Oh, let me go this away. There we go. So this to me is a very fall looking bundle. You know, it's got one, one black piece, but there's lots of these sort of burgundies. Um, and you can find, I'm gonna link you at my website. You know, not everything can be found forever. And fabric has come in and gone out so fast lately that uh, it's really hard to say, use this bundle and it'll be there by the time that I tell you. So I know there's a few bundles like this, but there's also just the yardage and you could just get some of the pieces and then add it to what you have. Like here's one that's purple. This is actually a purple in there. And there's some oranges and this golds some dark green, so a couple of greens, and I like the pop of teals. So there's just, you know, there's a wide variety and I will not use all of this. I just happen to have it. So I thought it would be a good one to play around with because I love the colors. It, may, it really feels like fall. And that is what I'm going for with fall frolic. And then there's later pieces in the line. This one I got extra because I thought it might be great for the backing. So I just got a piece just, just to know that I have it. And then kind of a taupey purple and a, with a grayish tone, really interesting shades. And then this sort of poppy salmon, you know, pinky salmon, but a brighter one. Another really nice orange in there and a few more greens. There's some yellows. So you can see there's a wide, wide variety and then a bunch of lights. And then I'm also going to work with this light in addition to it. So that'll be primarily what I cut all the sashing out of. And then I will use these lights uh, in the blocks plus colors. Now what I did is on the supply list, I did like one, two, three, four. So these are sort of grouping. So if you're gonna to go to your stash and you know, rather than buy a bundle, or if you're going to buy a bundle, you know, you have a light, a medium. Well, this is like a background light. That's what I call like, like this stuff. But then you have like the regular <coughs> colors that are light, medium, and dark, just like you saw here. And if you wanna mimic that with either another bundle that I show you, I'm gonna put links on my website. They're up there now or go to your stash and find some of those. Uh, and just make it fun. Have something that, and if you don't wanna do a fall quilt, you could easily do this. The, the blocks will not have image-based things. So you could use, um, if you have tulip pink fabric, if you have cave fabric, if you have a, a fat quarter bundle of you know somebody's fabric that you've loved, a Christmas bundle, a spring bundle, whatever just get like a bundle of fat quarters and then the background we will make these units i'll probably make these scrappy they'll probably be different fabrics used within the blocks because i think that will be a little sparkly all around and be fun the blocks will be really low key uh doable for everybody okay my friends <laughs> not only do you have your uh summer soiree to do today with your uh, something sweet for the end of the evening but then you can go and download load the fall frolic and get ready for that one which will start in a couple of weeks I don't have the date on here I'll pop the date up I love you <laughs> I'll see you online Mwah.